Hey guys, welcome back to the Espresso Outlet YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a V60 using the Turin DM47. I had a couple people asking, how do you dial in the DM47? Now, we haven't really showed a whole lot on this grinder, so let's just take a look together today. The few things that you're gonna to need to get going is a V60 funnel, or just whichever method that you're planning to use. I have this plastic one that I've used for years and I love it. Standard coffee mug, I recommend using a scale and some sort of a hot water source. I, I typically use this electric kettle. It gets up to about 200 degrees. Ideally, you're gonna use a kettle that you can change the temperature on. Uh, that one actually just recently broke, and this one does a pretty good job. It, it, I have it set about right where it needs to go, so let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to brew some of this Brazil Mata de Minas. It's some coffee that I roasted over the weekend. It's been really good. It's still pretty fresh, but it's, it's to gas for a few days, so. To begin with, let's set this off to the side and I'm going to weigh out 18 grams of beans. Next, I will note that I have used this grinder. I actually have it set a little bit fine and probably what we're going to do is do more than one extraction and we're just gonna breeze through this first one. I think it's actually going to run a bit too slow. And the way it's set today, it's actually one complete revolution around. This adjustment collar can rotate more than once. Um, it's, it's still pretty fine. So we're kind of more into that air press range in my opinion at one full revolution, but let's give it a go and see what happens. So large dosing cup, nice for doing like more just regular brews over espresso. And it does have a slower motor. So don't expect this thing to just really be a speed demon. But that slower motor works fantastic with these conical grinders. So it does have a little sweeper on the inside. You can see it sweeping out the coffee grounds. You do have a knocker and a bellow. Not a whole lot comes out. And then we'll turn it off. To set up for our V60, let me grab a filter paper. Okay, so it's generally recommended to put your filter in first and pour some hot water over it. These are the special kind of cloth filters from Kaleida. They are disposable and there is really no need to pre-wet, but you can go ahead and pre-wet them if you're using just like your classic Herio. Uh, I do recommend pre-wetting them because it'll get that paper taste out. So as soon as it draws down, we're just gonna dump it. From there, we're gonna take our grinds and we're going to dump them in nice and level. And if you need to, you can use a spoon or something to kind of level them out a little bit. Let's see, I should have some sort of a spoon. So we're actually going to use just our scoop and make a nice level bed of coffee grounds. I'm aiming for 300 grams output, so we're gonna start this scale over. We're gonna do our bloom at about 60 grams. If you have something to stir, you can feel free to stir. Just make sure that it gets completely wet. And really where I'm aiming is about a three minute drawdown. So far it's looking pretty good, but we'll see. We might need to tighten up this grind a little bit. Okay, so actually I'm a little bit surprised. We're about the two and a half minute mark and we're done. So it actually ran faster than what I expected. Uh, when I ran it the other day, it ran a little bit slow. These are pretty fresh beans. Uh, they are a different bean than I used the other day. So actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more cup and we are going to actually make the grind size a little bit smaller. So let's get set up for that. 
Okay, so to speed things up a little bit, I've prepared our 18 gram dose and I've prepared a filter over here as well. So we are going to need to make the adjustment to the setting. I always recommend doing this with the grinder running. So we're actually probably just gonna drop it by maybe 10. And a little bit more, 15. And then turn the grinder off. So it still doesn't take very long to grind. Let's make a cup of coffee. So I've already prepared the paper. Okay, so we just hit the three minute mark and we can see a little bit more water in there as it's starting to go to the very bottom. So I might back it off by maybe three or four points, but I'd say this was pretty much perfect. Got our 300 gram output in about three minutes and 10 seconds. I mean, really can't get much more ideal than this. So nice level bed of coffee grounds and we're going to try both of these side by side. Okay, so let's give this a quick try. The first cup was essentially on setting 100. It's one full revolution. And it went a little bit slow, or a little bit fast, excuse me. It was a very nice balanced cup of V60. Really enjoy the beans. Just get that like real nice earth tone, fresh roasted Brazil. Pretty much spot on like i would totally say that that was a passable cup despite it running a little bit fast so the second one we actually ran on about setting 85 so we dropped it by about 15 points this one's still pretty warm i'd say hmm. i'd say it's just marginally better i don't know if it's really like that much better which is one of the nice things about a conical grinder is they are fairly forgiving. You can see that it did affect the drawdown time quite a bit, but yeah, just side by side. These are both just very excellent cups. The thing with a conical burr is you're going to get that really nice homogenous mixture. You're not going to get that extreme clarity, but for a lot of people, especially like this style of bean, it's just a wash Brazil. They just taste good. This is good coffee. And something like this is gonna make just absolutely fantastic coffee. I know if you guys watch this channel any amount of time, I'm not a huge conical fan, but when the SD40 came out, I thought it was a really nice little grinder. Uh, I've used like a Brazza for quite a few years and it's always treated me very well. But as soon as I got to taste those flat burrs, I was hooked. So it was, it was going to take quite a bit for me to be like really um, sold on a conical burr. And I recently did the $200 grinder showdown where I had four different conical grinders. And I will admit that they have really impressed me quite a bit. Even the grinders that we don't sell, they were very impressive to me. So this one is the DM47. So it actually offers a 47 millimeter burr instead of the 40, like in the SK40. Um, it is more of a brew burr, in my opinion, than an espresso burr. I have done espresso on it. And if I'm going to do espresso with this, it's definitely going to be like more of a milk drink burr. It's not going to be that high clarity, super good uh, single origin that I typically like. I, uh, this is going to be more of like your, your chocolatey, uh, slightly more muddy tasting coffees. And I'm not saying that as like a negative. It's just you're not going to get that extreme clarity out of a conical burr in my opinion. So let's do one more quick test. 
The one that ran fast, you can just tell it's thinner. It's a little bit under extracted, but not by a whole lot. The one that was pretty much spot on, it's, it's pretty much spot on. I mean, I don't think I could have done it any better. I definitely wouldn't go any slower. Um, we tasted it going faster and it's really not too big a difference, but this one definitely has quite a bit more body and flavor to it. So if you're thinking about getting the DM 47, it's $399 right now. And I think it's a really cool little grinder. I mean, it, it's very small. You can see like I got the EK and the, the super jolly behind me and it's very small. Um, this is just kind of like a standard 16 ounce. This is smaller than 16 ounce, but it kind of reminds me of like a solo cup and the grinder is obviously quite a bit smaller. If this is something that you want to go take camping or something like that, it does have a, you can call it a cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, most people, they have USB anymore, but it has that larger cigarette lighter style plug. And you can actually operate this grinder in the back of your car, for example. So it's a really cool, versatile grinder. If you got any questions on it, uh, hit subscribe, leave some comments below. You can reach out to our email and drop us an email if you got any specific questions on it. Uh, I, I've really been promoting this as a fantastic second grinder. Uh, I really like like if you're doing espresso and you want that flat burr and you're looking for a flat and a conical, it's a fantastic conical. I mean, really you gotta have the pair and there are certain coffees that they just, they really shine on a conical. And while I'm talking about it, I don't have it over here right now. We have the Bean Seeker, the Ice Dripper. And I've really been impressed. I, I thought I would really like it with the higher clarity flat burr. And believe it or not, the Bean Seeker really seems to shine with a conical burr. So if you're thinking about getting one of those Bean Seekers, maybe get this DM47, or we also have like the SK40 and the SD40s as well. And I've been very impressed with those. So thanks for watching.